Well, hello there, Elena. <laughs> it's time to get started. All right. So, um, let's take down the starting soon screen here. And my apocalypse, my llama apocalypse uh, graphic. That's what I call it, llama apocalypse. <laughs> yeah, we're going to go on to uh, New Gondwana Land, which I guess now should be called New New Gondwana Land, Newer Gondwana Land. I'm not sure. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I did something uh, interesting here uh, a couple streams ago, or a few streams ago, I guess now, and uh, recorded a YouTube episode, at least part of one, live. Let's, uh, let's bring the face up. There we go. And good. I have my skin on. <laughs> I've had some issues with the skin, with the uh, the skin changer mod. Uh, sometimes I think it just simply decides I'm a Steve, which is lame. But yeah, so <laughs> we recorded the end of the world. We had meteors falling and people dying and uh, literally had children crying <laughs> because of a data pack that I wrote. It was a good time. So... Um, yeah, this was our update to 1.18, which we just did about a month ago, and now we've got the first pre-release for 1.19, so you can see I'm doing a great job of keeping up. <laughs> but we're not going to do a world reset for 1.19, we're just going to, uh, uh, we might reset some, uh, swamps, and, uh, maybe some places where there might be a deep dark. I haven't decided yet, but we're keeping this world, um, until there is a major change in world generation again, like there was for 1.18. But yeah, we uh, we had talked about it and decided uh, we we liked the idea of a long term world, but we also wanted the new caves and cliffs. So we did a soft reset. We said goodbye to the overworld, but we kept the Nether, and uh, we had an opportunity to save some things. So yeah, my stuff in the Nether is still here, thank goodness. So yeah, I've got rather a lot of stuff, and I've dropped off some stuff uh, that I had been able to save from the overworld in the middle of the meteor shower that ended everything. So yeah, oh, look at all this mess. So much mess. So yeah, I've got, I've got some of my cool stuff. Don't don't question it. <laughs> but yeah, so we're not starting all the way from scratch. Um, we are uh, we're going to be able to have sort of a partial early game. Yep, I got I got some of my money and everything. Let's see, I got okay, yeah, I got a, a shulker box of steak. I'm gonna need that. Um, did lose quite a lot of resources though, so oh good, there's my ID card in there. Thank goodness. <laughs> um, yeah, so we have most of the. Uh, I've got some junk in here. How did I get this junk? Oh yeah, I was looking for this tunnel. Oh yeah, I'm used to having my crossbow. I don't have it on me here, but yeah, so. <laughs> What was I saying here? We're going to um, have a look at this overworld. And my brother and his wife have been very actively playing on here. Don't kill me, you guys. That's very rude. And so we're going to take a look at what they have done. Uh, they're leaving me in the dust so far. And uh, probably going to start with securing some of the villages at spawn. Die. Just... Wow, there's another one. <laughs> Come on, you guys. You're you're interrupting my thing. All right? I'm 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 in the middle of a thing. It doesn't involve you guys being alive. Okay. Oof. Yeah. <laughs> Are you serious? Jeez, these guys just This is this is just incredibly rude. Guys. All right, we're going to get out of the uh we're gonna get out of the over or the uh, the Nether though. We're gonna go to the Overworld. Um, I'm not sure exactly where my portal starts yet. I've gone through it once just to make sure that it was at least on the Overworld and that things were linked up properly, but I'm not sure where it is. So uh, we're going to need to check because our old spawn was actually quite a ways away from the natural world spawn. We had moved spawn, but this time we found a seed where spawn is right at zero zero. So that's gonna be. Back to you, little kid. Okay, whatever. Um, but as a consequence of that, um, this tunnel, this three kilometer long tunnel that we spent so long building, no longer leads to my wife's island. Um, instead, we've got, if I go to the map here, um, let's see, it goes this way. Is that the tunnel? Yeah, I no longer have a full map anymore. But yeah, it goes quite a ways, and we're going to have to find where to branch it off, because she has an island, it's a new island, but we need to find out 
where to put it. So that's going to be on the task list for today as well. Get out of here. Get out of here. No, no, you're junk. Get out of here. Don't want it. Oh, I have a totem. Nice. I need to put something like the uh, the totem pack we have on, on first craft here. That would be a lot of fun. And let's see. Rocket propellant. I've got flight duration two rockets here. I'm probably going to start using nothing but flight duration one like I am on first craft because these caves and flying through them bleh, is very handy with flight duration one and uh, pretty uh, pretty sketchy with flight duration three. All right, we got more intruders. Yeah, I still need to spawn proof all this, but yeah, we didn't want to get rid of uh, a lot of this work. So, uh, yep, still a long-term world, and all that ended, fortunately, was the overworld. <laughs> so that castle I made, it never finished. Gonna have to uh, start it again. What the? Did my elytra break or something? Nope. Must have had a lag spike or something. Uh, it would not activate my rocket. Rude. Who runs the server anyway? Jeez. Alright, so now where have I gone? <laughs> um, let's see. Can I even see the portals from up here? I don't think I can. But they're right in there. Let's see. I need to go to uh, 130, negative 290, I think, is the coordinate. We got these jerks trying to spoil my whole thing. Ah, get out! <laughs> I'm not properly equipped. I don't have my good armor. Yeah, here it is. All right, let's just let's just get out of here. No, this is the portal. It goes to the overworld, but I'm not sure exactly where in relation to our new spawn. And it's night, because of course it's night. Um, let's get up onto a tree. I've got more junk in my inventory, dang it. Yeah, let's fly up here. You guys can't get me up here. And let's take a look at the map. Yeah, we are way up here. That is the spawn island. Okay. And yeah, I did some uh, some exploring here um, on our stream when we uh, got to the overworld uh, last time, about a month ago, I think. Uh, but yeah, this is our spawn continent. New, new Gondwana land, I guess. And, uh, yeah. Let's uh, fly there, so southwest. And we're going to be flying there at night, but uh, that's okay. Night is very nice. So that way. And, okay, my Elytra is doing all right. What is Gondwana land, asked Lena. Okay, so you've heard of Pangea, right? Gondwana land was the supercontinent before Pangaea, so I'm being a nerd here. <laughs> um, in a uh, in a past life, I was uh, studying to be a geologist, and my brother is a geologist, so uh, we're being nerdy. This is a nice mountain range. So yeah, I picked out the seed, but I looked at so many seeds that uh, honestly, besides uh, the layout of the spawn island... I have no idea where anything is. <laughs> I just know that it's a good seed. Oh, there's a nice little patch of uh, ice spikes here. Very cool. And a big old sinkhole. Ha, <laughs> nerd! <laughs> I need to get a sound alert or something that uh, says nerd. This is cool. <laughs> Alright. Um, let's see. How are we doing? Uh, okay, we uh, we have the ocean now. And these cliffs. So yeah, I was even able to uh, bring all of my stepdaughter's pets <laughs> to this world. That was really... Uh... <laughs> I want a sound alert of Nelson from Simpsons going, ha ah ha! <laughs> I think that's who that is. I hardly watch any Simpsons. <laughs> but I think I know exactly what you mean. But yeah, I was even able to... Uh through some very clever maneuvering, um, bring my stepdaughter's animals from uh, Revenge Hill, which is no more, to here. All right, here we have the north tip of New New Gondwana Land, Newer Gondwana Land, whatever we're gonna call it. 
And let's take a look at the map. Okay, yeah, we've got this nice... I'm going to enjoy this night for a little bit. Uh, we don't see enough night in Minecraft. Everyone always sleeps immediately, including myself, <laughs> on uh, on SMPs. Okay, we got some ice spikes up here as well. This is one of my favorite things. This big kind of crater lake here that is full of icebergs. <laughs> Go step daddy bear pig. <laughs> That's right. And I can't wait for my... Uh, my twins to be old enough to uh, play Minecraft with me. That's going to be a few years, though. At least a couple years before I can supervise them at a keyboard. Alright, so here we have... I think that's the village that I had set my spawn at before. Let's go down through this canyon. I love flying through these epic canyons. Yeah, here's the start of the canyon. I think my favorite unexpected thing that we got with the uh, Caves and Cliffs update is these canyons. Especially when they go through a jungle. I really... I was not expecting to like jungles so much, especially since they didn't really get much update on their own. But when you get a river cutting through a very hilly jungle, it's fantastic. Alright, we need to go this way. Here's a village up on a mountain. And I think they even improved. They managed to improve... Let's just sleep. I don't know if this is the right village or not. Um, they managed to improve village placement. So I haven't seen nearly as many questionable placements of villages. They're still questionable, but uh, they're a little bit less so than they were before. And I've seen it consistently enough that I think it's uh, a legit thing now. You guys, stay away from my villagers. Get. Get out. Go away. Bye. What am I looking for? I'm looking for uh, the villages on this continent, and we're going to start making them safe. Um, I want to check on what my uh, brother and his family have been up to. And uh, also going to take a look at uh, the island that I uh, found for my wife. So... <laughs> Let's, uh, let's see, am I safe here? I'm going to be listening for... There's a spiite here. Um, any creepers? Let's just fly a little bit so that we're away from that. Let's fly to this village. I think this is the one I'm thinking of. And then I can uh, talk and look at the map without worrying about a creeper coming up behind me. These guys are very rude. Yeah, it's a... Family and some friends server, like uh, my uh, my stepdaughter, some of her friends play on here sometimes. Uh, some of my uh, brother's uh, friends sometimes uh, pop on. But yeah, mostly it's just a, a family server here. So, but yeah, the, uh, the island, how far is it? Little places that I've popped up in trying to do admin stuff. It's, it's around here, approximately, um, but uh, there wasn't one in the right place in this seed but this uh this was just so perfect a uh, a spawn place so i used uh, mca selector found an island that's like 300 kilometers to the south that is perfect and copy pasted it in and then uh blended the terrain with the uh the vanilla uh, biome blending or terrain blending feature okay yeah there's the pen where i put um uh, yellow sunshine revenges animals <laughs> um and uh, so that was that was an interesting exercise in uh, learning some new tools. Uh, but yeah, let's uh, place the ender chest that I have. So I think I'm going to make this my first home. Have I done this? I might have done this. I haven't been on this server nearly enough. I think I might have planted those, actually. <laughs> okay, that's right. Yes, I needed those for making that pen. Okay, for the animals. So we're going to look at that. So let's uh, let's just choose a house. This one that I was in is just fine. This is going to be where we're going to start off. But yeah, I haven't really played on my own server. <laughs> so, um, yeah, ammunition, uh, rocket propellant, my redstone stuff. Uh, we got bunch of stuff that uh, was grindy to get that I was able to save from my base. The vast majority of the stuff that I had is gone, though. They're my dispensers from the old dispenser factory, which is no more. That's what I... Shulker box of axolotl, that's right, I forgot. 
Um, oh, that the Halloween, the Halloween buckets. <laughs> I put so much stuff in these uh, from our uh, our trick or treat event. <laughs> oh, data pack and resource pack I made there. A uh, bunch of random stuff. Yeah, very cool. But yeah, the um, the skeleton spawner that I had. Um, I call skeleton spawner farms. Uh, dispenser factories because I just take some cobblestone and some redstone and I sit there and every bow that comes out of a skeleton farm becomes a dispenser. So uh, while other people are complaining that it's really annoying to craft dispensers, by the time I need them, I've got the stacks and stacks and stacks of them. Let's go take a look at uh, these animals down here. Make sure they're okay. I don't have to do any more shenanigans on them. Okay. Yeah, so... Uh, Yellow Sunshine Revenge's base was Revenge Hill. That's not hers. That's just here. So I don't think those have names, but these do. Scary, Spooky, <laughs> Jello. Do you have a name? I don't think so. Uh, boom. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Bobbert. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so she saw all... Meowster Evil, that's right. She saw all the uh, cat heads that I was collecting, and then saw this little guy behind my base in the uh, the previous world, and then went and tamed him, and named him Bobbert, so that I wouldn't kill him. <laughs> Lena versus my redeem, says Shipwreck. <laughs> now nah, I got sniped from you. I also have some other bad news, Shipwreck. There's another redeem that I have turned off right now, because we're... Uh, we're doing strictly family friendly on this server. <laughs> yep, exactly. And then Arya, that's based off one of our real life cats. I'm going to show you something really cool in a minute. And Shadow Shanks is a combination of Shadow and Crookshanks, which are our other two cats. But uh, yeah, these are hers. Um, so, and let's see, do we even have? No, I don't think. Well, I thought I saw him, but I don't think that uh, Mr. Evilish survived. <laughs> so he's gone. But yeah, these are the rest of her animals from there. Setson, welcome and redeeming hydrate. I'm not doing a, a drink cam today, uh, but I am gonna I'm gonna hydrate. Make the view distance 64. I mean, I could do that, but it actually wouldn't do anything unless I, uh, you know, actually install some mods about that. <laughs> Shadow Facts and Crookshanks. Yes, I know. Shadow Facts. That's pretty good. <laughs> Alright, but... So, I got to watch something cool this morning. This is a segue from... Um, where is she? Uh, Aria. So, we have a real-life cat named Aria. And we named her that because we were looking for a nerdy name. And uh, she is um, absolutely deadly and uh, misleadingly... Uh, doesn't seem to be deadly until she looks at you with crazy eyes and has very sharp claws. So, Arya from Game of Thrones, it is. And a friend of mine who um, whom I played Minecraft with uh, a couple times, and who also does art, um, and is a re an engineer in real life. So mixing a lot of stuff there, uh, I was able to redeem uh, draw my pet in her stream, and uh, she drew Arya uh, this morning. And so let's see. Um, here is. Her art of my real life cat Aria, which she did uh, in a four hour stream this morning. <laughs> uh, Mubot does single person host alerts. Oh, do I have a host? And it's not. Hmm. I'm gonna have to look into that. Um, I also uh, I set up um, an account for Fossabot, but I haven't set up Fossabot yet. So I'm looking into that as well because I want. Auto shoutouts for all you guys too. Yeah, no, she did a fantastic job, and you can see the eyes. Those are those are murder eyes. <laughs> she's uh she's completely crazy. Um, but yeah, that is the cat, and let's see. That is accurate. Shipwreck sets him is cute. <laughs> we assume so, we've never seen him. But I have um her links here. And uh the the formatting on those G's. He said next stream he's gonna have a face cam. Ooh, face reveal for Setson, huh? <laughs> Very cool. But yeah, so that's uh, that's Arya, and uh, uh, you definitely want to give her a look. And uh, she even put those up on Redbubble, and I ordered some prints and magnets and stickers of that cat because <laughs> of course I did. 
So let's um, let's change this. Let's take this down, and we have a companion today. <laughs> Thank you for shouting out sets and shipwreck. <laughs> All right, um, and now we got we got rain. Okay, so but that's fine. I wonder I wonder if the llamas killed Mister Evilish. I wouldn't put it past him. He was a uh, he was a disarmed pillager. <laughs> Those butts. All right, so let's um, let's continue uh, southeast, and there is my brother's base with his family. We shout out Kaylee. The link didn't show up here. I'm on a phone app. Ah, uh, okay. Let's let's do this. This is her entire link tree. So it's got her uh, her Twitch, her YouTube. She's got um, time lapses of her art on there. Um, got her uh, her Twitter and everything. But yeah, she's a she's a good friend of mine. Um, she made the um, the Heart Core challenge. She made that mod and data pack. So um, yeah, you guys have actually seen some of her work before in Minecraft. No worries, Setson. Thanks for letting me know about that. But yeah, <laughs> got a little cat sitting on the screen. That's amazing. And I'm now going the wrong way. You guys have distracted me. I blame you guys. I blame shipwreck. Yeah, I went I went northwest instead of or northeast instead of southeast. So now I got to move south and watch my elytrates at half durability. Yeah, blame shipwreck. Yeah, it's a, it's a formatting thing. I put spaces, um, but Stream Elements formatting is a little weird and frustrating, so I need to work at that. And uh, I've got people to add to the first craft one, too, because it's now out of date as of uh, this week. So now we've got um, Lena and we've got Twiglet. Ah, here we go. So the funniest thing about this is that this is so familiar. They <laughs> They rebuilt their old base. While I've been uh, messing around on first craft and doing other things, they've already rebuilt almost entirely at fire sets. <laughs> yeah, you can't get timed out here for doing that. Well, y yeah, you can actually, because Setson's one of my mods. Let's sleep so that we don't get a zombie apocalypse on them, even though they're lit up. Uh, where is a bed? Where is a bed? Need to find a bed. Ow! There's a there's a random leaf block just floating in front of my face. Yeah, so am I, Sister Shipwreck. Uh-oh, who's going to be first? <laughs> see what I did there. Um, Let's see. We got a lava farm here, but it doesn't have a bed in it. Surely there's an AFK spot with a bed. Oh, my goodness. Well, this is, this is different from their old base. But, okay. Um, Indiana Jones warehouse here. Dang. Thanks for shouting out Twiglet, uh, Shipwreck. And uh, Lena's saying, Twiglet is a really good creator. I never heard of him before First Craft, and I'm glad, uh, I'm glad you got him to join. Yeah, me too. <laughs> he, uh, let's see, how did I... I met, met him because of uh, Osteost, which I'm mispronouncing, I know. But, uh, oh, there's, uh, I think there's something cool they were showing me about this. I can't find a, a stinking bed. And the smeltery? No. Of course there's not. But I think we're safe. Alright, I'll just keep an eye out for mobs. Um, but yeah, so uh, he... Um, Osteos introduced me to Nerdak, who hasn't streamed in quite a while. And then uh, Nerdak um, had a Discord where I met uh, Twiglet. And then Twiglet started hanging out in my streams, and then I started hanging out in his streams, and he is so much fun. Sutton said, uh, did you play with the new members, Dan? I saw you posted roof work in the courthouse. Uh, nicely done. Yeah, thank you. The courthouse is turning out great. I have some adjustments I want to make, but I'm kind of designing it on the fly, so that's not surprising. I don't see anywhere. Maybe over here. Maybe this is the start of their house. And they're making the classic mistake of putting a lightning rod right directly on the wood, thinking it will protect the wood from flame, but no, it will just determine where the lightning strikes. Yeah, I think this is the start of their house. There we go. That's weird. I'm not going to sleep in that bed. 
Uh, this one's fine. <laughs> the courthouse is looking fresh to death. That's amazing. <laughs> Thank you, Lena. Yeah, it's uh, it's going very well. I'm pleased with it. I'm really pushing my building skills with that, which is uh, what I what I really need to do. So uh, I used to be able to say that I I build like mumbo jumbo and I redstone like uh, Grian, but I can't say that anymore because both of those are getting good at both of those things. So uh, now I gotta actually get good. Rip. Ah, there we go. So it's sunny again. But yeah, this is basically their base from before. Although I saw I saw something about this, and I want to go see it. Their smeltery has a super cool sign, which is now coming into render distance. <laughs> if this isn't the cleverest use of the glow signs, I don't know. The Hot Stuff Smelting Company. <laughs> <laughs> that's just beautiful that's their super smelter <laughs> i love it and uh i need to step up my game oh there's a bed now i find an afk spot uh what is this an iron farm probably or is it just an afk spot maybe this is a generalized afk spot but yeah they're their um nether portal platform identical i think that's the first thing that they built here but yeah, now Lena says the courthouse looks like something Corrales would build. Ooh, now there is high praise. <laughs> Thank you. Love your face. <laughs> uh, Corrales is cool. And what is this? This looks like some sort of transport for uh, for mobs. What have they got in here? Or maybe not. What in the world is this? <laughs> yes, Princess XP. <laughs> Wish she'd call me princess. I, I'm i assuming that they caught a mob here. Like, maybe they caught a zombie or a zombie villager in here and then transported it. That's my best guess. I have no idea. <laughs> or maybe this is supposed to be something eventually. I don't know weird who can, who can say maybe even one of my uh one of their kids my nephew or my niece built it so uh yeah they uh they build some interesting stuff <laughs> um let's see i think that's basically it yeah they, they've got some farms over here let's just see what they are and then we need to uh we need to get some supplies and start lighting up those villages uh, they haven't been loaded, um, but they will be uh, when I start playing more regularly here. Oh, this is nice. Villager-powered potato farm. Slave labor. Gotta love it. Hey there. You're just stuck there. Okay. <laughs> uh, two modules there. Cool. And what's in here? Oh, same thing, but for carrots. I like it. I like the design. And beets. So they can make borscht. Mmm, borscht. And then here's the behind the scenes, I guess. Yep, all hoppers. Okay. <laughs> so that's that, like actual crop farm farms. And uh, I thought I saw something else. Yeah, over there, there's, there's uh, more. We saw a lava farm smelter. Why isn't Miss Bearpig giving the tour? Uh, she hasn't been on here yet, uh, since we first got here. Um, and she is uh, having to do... Oh, she's actually, she doesn't have anything to do for work today. Basalt and stone. Ooh, that's cool. And system activation. I'm not going to push any buttons. Uh, but yeah, so she's taking a nap, and then she's going to be watching the kiddos. Where's the twins base? Well, that's going to be, I guess... Uh, her house when she builds it. She's designed this amazing mansion in a, a creative world, and she's going to build it. So uh, we've saved her materials. She had a ton of uh, nether bricks and a ton of quartz, and uh, that's what she's going to build it out of. All right, am I missing anything? Okay, they've saved that village. Um, that's their villager breeder. What is that? I haven't seen that. And I'm pointing right at it, so it's on that side. Lapis Pig, welcome. 
Good to see you here. <laughs> this is kind of cool. We got not a hedge maze, but like hedges. What is this? Oh, this is their iron farm. Okay. Ah, yep, I see it. And I hear the zombie. There's the zombie. Okay, so this is... This is even slightly more compact than my design, I think. Wow, they actually can break line of sight there? That's nuts. Okay. Very cool. Yeah. <laughs> I was talking about trying to get them to agree to outlaw iron farms now that there are iron veins. Um, and we got something cool uh, planned for that as well, and is one of the reasons I want to save some villages. I have some uh, I have some data packs. Um, let's see. Yeah, so we've got our <laughs> we got all this one papers, please. It's got a we we each get issued an ID card. Um, map art world. Yeah, I've got a, a custom dimension that's just flat wool, so that we don't have to go flatten anything for. Uh, making a map art. We still have to gather all the resources and make the map art. But, uh, <laughs> you stop with your banning iron farms. Wash that filthy mouth. Shipwreck, you'll be pleased to know that I have built one iron farm ever in my life. My very first iron farm is on the first SMP. And, uh, I will not be building an iron farm here. All my iron will be uh, naturally mined from the ground and uh, refined with chemicals and uh, carbon emitting flames. <laughs> My carbon footprint is only two. Dang it. Um, Lapis says, What is this server? Uh, <laughs> first craft, Dan. First craft. First craft is the series. First SP is the server, right? That's what I thought. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, join the first craft Discord. That, uh, for now, um, I, I have a Discord, but I'm not uh, promoting it as a public Discord at this time. So uh, basically, I'm using a, a first craft Discord. For that so uh all of us cool people there and shipwreck um so let's see uh but yeah this is my family server um and uh some uh friends of the kids as well um let's see and Lane is saying um i didn't even build my first iron sh iron farm ship built it yeah <laughs> i believe that Okay, yeah, this, this is so cool. I just love these freaking uh, canyons. I wasn't making that sound. That was my elytra. What is this? This is cool. Yeah, I may have been the one to find the seed, but the way the way i am this is still all gonna be discovery for me that's awesome okay yeah stop getting distracted dan actually today is all about getting distracted so it's fine <laughs> lena says i had planned to build it but ship went into build mode and wouldn't let me help i believe that too actually i believe that all right there's the village right up there yep that's the one i'm looking for but uh yeah let's uh let's look at those data packs again Ox had to land. Okay, so we're going to look at that one in a minute. Uh, this one's fun. Creeper Guard. <laughs> if you name an, an armor stand Creeper Guard, it'll defend you from creepers with laser beams. It'll literally shoot creepers that come too close with laser beams and vaporize them. Lena saved you. Lena helped. So um, we, need to, we need to have another look at some replay modded footage. While you guys... See, I was trying to help push Shipwreck into the bubble column and save him. You hit him. You you actually hit him and caused damage and pushed him right out of the bubble column. Um, but then you were helping, so that's nice. And uh, But then while you guys were, were scrambling to figure out how to get him back into the AFK spot, I placed some very expensive blocks beneath his feet so that he would be safe in style. Dan almost drowned me accidentally, and then I saved you. Um, yep, carbon footprint estimator. <laughs> that's right, this world... Tracks your carbon footprint, and I'm going for a high score. <laughs> My brother's going for a low score. And this, or Prospector. This one I'm particularly proud of, and I need to level up a cartographer before I show you what's going there. It wasn't moving fast enough, so I panicked. Yeah, I kept my cool. I definitely kept my cool. <laughs> and we've uh, passed another day, basically, so let's go back in here. Uh, Halloween treat bucket. You can go back into the 
shulker box. There we go. Um, but yes, so let's actually check what the uh, scores are. Oh my gosh. <laughs> She's done it again. She has over a million carbon footprint. She is a machine. Absolutely. That is a, that's Muffin Protector. That's my sister-in-law. Crafty Ricardo is my nephew. 250, that's respectable. Hey, that's my bed. God. Um, that's me with two, because I haven't really played. Pete Vengman, one of my other brothers, uh, has zero. He hasn't really played. I'm going to sleep there. <laughs> and uh, Princess Becca, that's one of my... Uh, that's my uh, niece. And Rabid Targ is my brother, with a minus 84. And we have some other names that will show up here soon. So, <laughs> Dan kept his school, because he didn't care if I lived or died. I did care ship. Um, shipwreck. Remember when you came and tried to trick me into killing you just so that I could uh, get some uh, security camera heads? And I didn't fall for it because I care. <laughs> I'm going to take a, a drink here. What brings up your carbon footprint? Well, I tried to keep it as intuitive as possible. So uh, cutting down trees, smelting items, all that stuff uh, does your carbon footprint. And planting trees, for example, brings it down. So that's how come my brother has a... Uh, a negative score so he lets his wife muffin protector do all the stuff so she placed all of the furnaces in their super smelter guaranteed so anytime either of them put stuff in there she's responsible for the carbon that's emitted so she gets the score that's why it's so high and she cuts down all the trees she loves grindy projects and uh he plants trees if they need to be planted so that's how he gets a, a negative score so let's let's cut down some trees um oh that button's supposed to be my axe, but um, let's get my toolbox out. Yeah, I packed up everything in my old base. Well, everything that I could fit. Um, and uh, so my inventory is a mess. Um, okay, good. I've got an axe. Um, another uh, pick. Alright, that'll 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 be good for now. Let's cut down some of these trees. we got another one now. And um, eight logs should bring up my score by one. I'm going to leave that up for a little bit. Yep, and so I was already at a partial score in there. I've got a carbon footprint of three. And this is good because I need some uh, charcoal anyway. Uh, does building custom trees count as planting them? If you place logs, it's, uh, it's the opposite of breaking one. So um, if you're placing logs, then yeah, that will reduce your carbon footprint because um, you are... No, that, that carbon is no longer liberated it is now uh sequestered <laughs> so to say um so yes but not all the blocks that you put in for a custom tree will count leaves don't count for anything um and also money doesn't currently grow on trees because i need to fix the loot table there is a tiny chance or a very small chance of a tiny bit of uh money which our currency is carbon credits to fall from leaf blocks <laughs> so um, and I want to uh, I want to add that to some other mobs as well. So, yeah, not all of my data packs are up to date yet, but uh, we didn't want to keep that from finally updating to 1.18 just in time for a pre-release of 1.19, which we're not going to reset the world for. We're just going to update the world for that. This is going to be continue to be a long-term world, and uh, we will reset when there is another major change to uh, terrain generation. Okay, so my carbon footprint is now six. See what else I've got in here. Um, do I have furnace or anything? I don't think I do. Wasn't worth saving. Oh, this is some of Crafty Ricardo's stuff. Easter eggs from an Easter egg hunt we did, and his favorite mob head, a zombie mask. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Yeah, let's take a look at this. <laughs> this is my wallet. So, yep, I've got a small amount of carbon credits. I've spent a lot. So, like on First Craft, where we have the uh, the bundles that are sold by the Wandering Trader, that's here as well, but the currency is carbon credits. And these were from the trick-or-treat event. So, these are these are <laughs> retextured gold ingots so that we could do uh, piglin trick-or-treating. And, yeah, there's my, there's my ID card. My ID is 1001, the uh, very first ID, and I am rank dictator. <laughs> and that's a... Uh, that's a music disc, so I got some plans for that, and using um, jukeboxes as like uh, card readers and such. 
But yeah, so let's see, I've got 97... Uh, 117 carbon credits to my name is what I've got. Although I think I've got a couple more somewhere. Oh, I think they're in the nether, actually, so... Alright, so we need to steal a furnace. Let's pick up some saplings here, too. All right. Where is... I don't think there's a blacksmith here. Yeah, I haven't actually even explored this village. <laughs> I just, uh, I've just uh, claimed it and uh, claimed a bed as a respawn point. So I probably will need to build a furnace. It's really weird being in the early game, but not in the early game, you know? Like, here I am in a new world. I've got my full netherite. Well, yeah, full netherite. But I, I don't have a lot of the basics. Like, I don't have a furnace. This is a leather worker shop, isn't it? I think so, yeah. Yep. Alright, but we're going to be good stewards of this village, so I'm not going to tear down um, a, uh, a house for the cobblestone. We're going to go uh, locally source it from down here. And let's see. We want not silk touch, dang it. <laughs> Don't want silk touch. Pick up more saplings. And this one, okay, fortune, perfect. And this is a really nice cliff. Maybe I don't even want to touch it. Yeah, let's, uh, Let's go over here. <laughs> oh, another village there. Let's find a, a cave. And take some uh, stone from there. Uh, Lapis Pig saying, uh, Just like how I feel every day on servers that I play on, I can mine stacks of diamonds, but can't ever seem to find sugarcane. <laughs> nice. Um, <laughs> when I was looking for redstone... Oh, no, it was, it, it was when I was looking for um, uh, Deep Slate Gold Ore on uh first craft on the first smp i'm gonna keep saying it that way to bother shipwreck <laughs> um i kept finding diamonds and no gold ore it was absolutely maddening now let's just grab a bunch while we're here and copper oh i'm gonna also have a data pack installed that changes the uh loot table for the copper blocks to the 1.17 levels because the uh, the drops in 1.18 are ludicrously high, and the uh, the recipes as well. Like you can take one cubic meter of copper and get four cubic meters of cut copper, it just does not make sense. And it makes copper so common that it's no longer exciting. It's uh, super lame, especially with the uh, the giant copper veins. We're going to go uh, prospecting with electrical resistivity surveys. <laughs> That's what we're gonna do. Um, and I need to make a crafting bench. Just like that. Let's just place it right out here for now. And let's make some furnaces. And alright, so I have uh, I have something built into the carbon footprint uh, calculator data pack. So you can verify that uh, the furnace was placed correctly because there is a very small chance that the ray tracing misses it. And there it is. Oh. So now each of these has a marker that is tied to my own um, player ID. So let's see. Uh, players get... Um, yeah, player ID is 1001. So uh, these each have a marker that identifies this as my furnace. Um, so anything that gets smelted in here, I am responsible for, and it affects my carbon footprint score. So yeah, we're going to take all of these, and we want them to be... We want them to be uh, charcoal. And in fact, let's just do it this way. Oops. Like that. Yep, because I'm going to need some serious torches for this place. 
So yeah, let's uh, go ahead and get started with a, uh, a regular old manual tree farm. <laughs> One that uh, might not have a Midas beetle infection, because that happened to me early on in first craft. I, I made a manual tree farm, and those darn Midas beetles just kept kept coming, and uh, some of my trees just turned into gold. It's, it was weird. I don't, I don't really understand how that happened. Midas beetle infestation. The uh, fortune hoe. There we go. Gotta have two netherite hoes. Some of the most important tools in the game now. Yeah, unironically, even. And actually, the easiest tree to farm manually is uh, birch. So I, I often like doing birch as my uh, my coal and <laughs> my charcoal. Let's see. In fact, do I even have... I might have a choker box of birch. Though I probably decided that's easy enough to replace that I uh, I didn't take it with me. I limited myself to what I could fit in the shulker box. Dude! That does not look... That doesn't look very good. That's right in your face, man. That is... See, how come you get to sleep in that? I can't sleep in that. It's obstructed. Villagers cheat. I swear they cheat. They can even sleep before it's actually night. Alright. <laughs> Let's just put the wallet back. I'm done with it. And, uh, yeah. So, look. I'm working to help you. I am protecting your village because you guys don't have a clue how to do it. You just, you just do not know. <laughs> Useless villagers. All right, so let's uh, let's plant some trees. You'll watch my uh, carbon footprint score go down. Three. That. Yeah, let's just pick some of this up. This is my tree farm area now. I don't care if you guys worked on this. If this is like a garden or something to you guys. In fact, I think that's why there's so many red flowers over here. I think I moved them from there. <laughs> Oh, that's great. <laughs> Lepus Pig says, You broke the torch in your house. It doesn't matter much, but creepers could spawn in there when it gets dark. Oh, yeah. I did notice that, and then I immediately forgot. So thank you for the reminder. That is a good point. I will definitely be replacing that. I think a tree can still grow there. Not sure if tree can grow there, so yeah, it doesn't have to be a perfect grid. My OCD is not that bad. <laughs> it's pretty bad, but it's not that bad. All right, let's um, yep, there's that torch right there. Let's go put it back, or we forget. That's not the house. There it is. <laughs> And yeah, it's nice and bright in there. And these are done. Let's uh let's just keep making more. <laughs> yeah, time to get the uh I had a, a big old smelter in my base previously, and I think I might even actually start calling this season two. Haven't decided. But uh yeah, that was uh I got so much charcoal out of that. Lena says, this music is super zen. Yeah, I love the soundtrack to Minecraft. This is... I've got a mod. Um, let's look at my mods. Called Music Control. And it lets me control the music in-game. And it also reduces the delay between tracks to... Um, the default is, I think, uh, five seconds. And I've just left it there. So instead of waiting like an hour between tracks, it just plays the next track. It's great. Plus, I can pause it, and I can have it tell me what the current track is, which there's not one playing it at the moment, so I'll give it a moment, and it'll actually tell me at the bottom of the screen what's playing. And I can tell it to remind me as well. I really like it. Yeah, here we go. Lenorain, one more day, and I can tell it to tell me again. But yeah, even better if you're like, I know this is in the Minecraft soundtrack, but what is this song? You can just find out. Alright, I've got fortune. Why am I not using it? 
Fortune Ho, Dan. Fortune Ho. And I just love this track. It's so good. Yeah, my score is still 9. I think it should be higher than that. So it's possible that uh, the carbon footprint isn't working properly. That's one of the things I'm keeping an eye out for. Although I did plant a lot of trees, so that's that's true. Yeah, and I've only smelted 11 items, so 8 smelts is 1 point. So, yeah, and I have craft, uh, I planted a lot of uh, trees, so. Fortune Ho is the good one. That's right. Well, it's important to have a Fortune one and a Silk Touch one, so. I, no joke. Having two Netherite Hoes isn't even a meme anymore. It's, it's legit. <laughs> Alright, just clear this a bit. Hey, there's a cat. There we go. I'm watching my score. Yep, just went down because I planted a bunch of trees. There we go. Lapis says, uh, if you wanted to raise the carbon score, you could uh, go do some deforestation uh, on a nearby forest and not replant. I could, yeah. Um, I want the convenience of this, though. Like, over time, my carbon footprint will definitely go up. And the, these are uh, carbon positive, so not even neutral, because um, for every one of these I replanted, I'm going to get like uh, six to eight uh, back. So um, each of these, I'm going to get eight times as much carbon out of them, <laughs> the, way it's, uh, the way it's calculated. And meanwhile, this is going to be, uh, yep, let's put these in here. There we go. And I, uh, it's very satisfying to me the way that uh, a manual tree farm just gets uh, more and more productive as you expand it. Um, although, speaking of deforestation, Lapis Pig, uh, a funny thing that my, uh, my brother and his uh, wife did in uh, our other <laughs> world is they had a nearby forest that they, uh, they completely took down all the trees, left all the stumps. So... <laughs> I ran across it one day. I just uh, I was just flying around uh, looking at uh, I, I can't remember what I was. I think I was verifying that um, a, uh, a chunk pruning for 1.17 had happened properly, and I found their forest, and it was the most amazing looking thing. It was just an entire valley of stumps, <laughs> and I kind of want to do that myself because it's so funny. But credit to them for. Uh, thinking of it before me. <laughs> I've got some screenshots somewhere of it. It's amazing. Who knows, maybe they've already done that again here. But yeah, if I had all my data packs up to date, I'd be, uh, I'd probably be, uh, I'd probably have about maybe five, eight carbon credits more. Uh, but yeah, my carbon score is now 11. It's the highest it's been since we got here. So that's good. But yeah, the whole point right now is to get a head start on logs and charcoal. So that's why I'm uh, going ahead and replanting these. Lena says, I've seen Zelda do that. It looks pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, don't starve, uh, too. You uh, you have to dig up uh, any, uh, any stumps if you don't want them left behind. So yeah, you can end up with an entire uh, former forest that's just, just stumps. <laughs> it's a beautiful thing. Alright. Yeah, we're getting about to the point where uh, there will always be a tree to cut down, which is right where you want to be for a manual tree farm. And especially, uh, I mean, even without the fortune hoe, we'd always have more saplings than uh, we started with. All right, I've got 36, and I have three furnaces with uh, charcoal in them. So let's uh, let's step this up. 
I won't have to worry about food for a little while, but uh, that will be a thing. In the not-too-distant future. All right. Let's not uh, let's not spend too much more time on this. So uh, maybe at least until uh, this uh, sun goes down very soon. Uh, but then we're gonna start uh, crafting some torches and uh, lighting this place up because I want it to be safe. And then we're gonna switch gears and I'm gonna go to uh, uh, find uh, the island that I uh, pasted in for uh, my wife. Moved a whole island for her because I'm such a good guy. <laughs> and uh, we're going to see where we need to branch off of our nether tunnel, which is the building project. Wow, hello. Which is the building project I am probably the most proud of of anything I've done in Minecraft. Yep, and that's what makes birch trees easier to farm is that uh, you never end up with one that is uh, out of reach or nearly out of reach. And at this point, I could probably also start uh, doing uh, the big, the big ones because uh, I've got plenty of saplings. I just love these sunsets in this game. Look at that. <laughs> That's right, Aria's up on my screen. <laughs> this is a view for a cat. <laughs> That's amazing. I like it. <laughs> Hey there. Oh, I'm not hungry. I was going to eat a steak in front of a cow, but I'm not hungry. Dang it. <laughs> yeah, let's start uh, making the big trees so that we get more wood per tree. Let's space them out a bit so that uh, we actually get saplings out of them as well. All right, and now it is time to time to tr get out of my bed. Would have taken a screenshot of the view if the cat wasn't there. <laughs> I can get a screenshot for you. Let's just do a added a replay mod event marker. Um, yeah, I can I can make a screenshot of that <laughs> later with the uh, the replay mod is how I usually get my screenshots. All right, let's just cut down a few of these. And let's start getting torches. It is time to move on to the next phase of the project. This isn't a tree chopping stream. Although it could be. The uh, 16 for the carbon footprint. Yeah, that super smelter though. There's at least two people, if not four, gathering resources. And uh, Muffin Protector is getting all the credit. So, one million. Jeez. That's insane. All right, and yeah, let's pop these in there. Let's uh, pick these up. I don't know if I saved any bone meal either, because um, I was being, like I said, uh, pretty choosy about what I saved from uh, my old base. I didn't want to just take everything. <laughs> It, uh, it was a compromise that we'd come up with, so I was like, okay, well, then I'll, I'll, I'll take some stuff with me. Because I was, I was thinking of resetting everything but the nether. Um, just starting from scratch. I mean, that's that's pretty much what we did, but we, uh, uh, they didn't want to go uh, resource gathering for all the stuff they had. So I was like, okay, you can save your stuff first. <laughs> and so, so did I. Ah, there we go. Let's, uh... Chop this tree down and then call it an end to this phase. And we got some podzel. Each pound podzel party. Yeah, this will uh, jump up my carbon footprint a bit. And I'm actually going to clear that from the sidebar now. And we can look at it in the tab menu. Any guesses what the uh, the tab challenge is, uh, Shipwreck? 
finally figured out the, the current one on first craft. It was driving me absolutely insane. But uh, I was able to piece it together between watching what Lena's score and Prokitman's score did. Uh, there we go. Yeah, I've got a stack and a half. Just like that. Perfect. Beautiful. Nope, no clue you say? Okay. I won't spoil for you that it's the, the carbon footprint. All right, let's make these into more charcoal. And then let's, uh, let's see, we've got some sticks. We've got nearly a stack. Very nice. What? I can't figure it out. <laughs> the, uh, the one on, um, on first craft. <laughs> I know what it is. I know what it is. All right, let's put torches in the offhand and let's uh, get to lighting this place up. Um, but yeah, it doesn't look like we've got a lot of deadly holes here. We've got something to worry about over here, it looks like. Okay, but not too bad. This doesn't go deep. Let's turn on the uh, light overlay for this part. I like using this only for uh, tasks like this because uh, it's a little bit uh, immersion breaking for me otherwise. And look at that. We got one of those super tall birch trees with a bee's nest. Uh, that must be a meadow over there. Uh, yep, we're in a meadow. Very nice. Okay, we've got a meadow village. That's going to be a little bit tricky. I'm going to have to go down there next. And uh, so for now, we'll have torch spam. And then later, we'll do uh, walls and more uh, more subtle spawn proofing. Ash pound, build the wall. Yeah, we got another big tree. Very cool. Yeah, when I come back uh, after stream to do more of this, it'll be a lot faster because now I have kickstarted my wood and charcoal production. And yep, that's six left of this stack, or this half stack of torches. Sure takes a lot less torches now. A lot fewer, I should say. That's more grammatically correct. Okay, we've got... Oh, that is a problem right there. Here is the first death hole that we have found at this village. Hopefully we haven't already lost any villagers to it. But here we go, our first uh, real spelunking on new, new Gondwana land. <laughs> Alright, that will take care of that, and that is also... Yeah, this is all right under my uh, my tree farm. <laughs> Alright, we got danger up here, and we got endermans. We need to stop them from griefing, too. Oh, there's a data pack for that, so... That'll be a thing. Just so annoying. I should demonstrate the uh, creeper guard, too. It's amazing. All right, and this doesn't look like it actually goes down deep <laughs> underground, so uh, unless this does. Nope, good. Don't like there to be uh, big caves under my, uh, my villages, dang it. <laughs> Come back here, you. We don't have a recipe for bundles on this server either. Uh, gonna do the, uh, that wandering bundler with the, uh, carbon credits as the, the currency. That's how we're gonna do it. Alright, did I get everything over here? It looks like no. Oh, 
And as a bonus, this will let the uh, trees even grow at night, some of them. As long as they have light level 7, I believe. Or is it 11? I don't know, it might be something ridiculous. Alright, still need to get... Oh, I can't sprint because I'm hungry. Where's that cow? I should have eaten in front of him. Here a bit. Yeah, just enough so that if I'm here during the night and don't sleep quick enough, we won't immediately have an overwhelming horde of zombies <laughs> and worse creepers. Not fond of creepers at all. They belong in my creeper farm and that's it. Okay, looks like we're just about done lighting up this area, I keep saying. Hello. All right, under the cliff. Yeah, I've continued to work on that courthouse, but I haven't, uh, I haven't attacked the, uh, the little cliff terrace plan yet uh, since the stream, although I've been brainstorming in my own mind brain. And I think I have some ideas on what to make it look like. So that'll be fun. A little bit more than my usual terraforming. Oh, that is last of the torches. All right, let's call that done then. Dan is hacking. Yup. You saw nothing. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Let's see if I can. Oh, I was testing a map, wasn't I? Yeah. I think so. I don't know. I did some I did some admin stuff after that stream, and then I can't remember what any of it was. <laughs> I'm spending all my time on first craft, dang it. On the first SMP. Um, let's see. What were we gonna do? We're gonna make a um let's make an armor stand what we want and do I have the question do I have uh, name tags because I need that if I'm going to demonstrate this name tags yes I do and they might even already be named creeper guard because I think at some point I just made a stack of those nope they are not I also don't have an anvil. Maybe I'll steal one. <laughs> Although I have iron. Um, do I have iron? That's quartz. Do I have iron? I might not have iron. Dang it. Boo! Okay. <laughs> let's, uh... Alright, let's go ahead and sleep. And what's the recipe for an armor stand? It's, uh, it's smooth stone slabs, right? Um, let's see. Hey, look! Shipwreck, I've got some sponge. <laughs> ah, I do have anvils. Yes, good, okay. Good, good, good. Um, and stone cutter, awesome. Oh, I need to smelt these again. And that's what I'm missing. And, okay, my damaged anvil. Put that right here for now. And let's just name one of these Creeper Guard. 
and watch. It won't work if I'm demonstrating on screen. <laughs> that was the last use of that anvil. That's amazing. Okay. <laughs> so glad I saved it. Yep, yep. For one use. <laughs> That's amazing. Okay, and yep, smooth stone slabs. Uh, there we go. And yep, armor stand. Fantastic. So now we need creepers, though. Um, and we don't have them. So let's clean out the inventory. Ooh. I've got nowhere to clean it out. <laughs> um, I guess I can make another shulker box. That's what I'm going to do. Um, chest. There you are. All right, another shulker box. Start of my... Oh, he's got a profession now. Uh, the start of my very first shulker monster. <laughs> in this new overworld. All right, let's just dump some of this in here. Uh, armor stand, keeping that on me. Let's keep that, just in case. I have another netherite hole. I have three netherite hoes? Really? Okay. All right. <laughs> that works, I guess. Um, and we're going to want more fireworks as well, because we're going to now fly over to this island that I keep teasing. Let's just take a couple more stacks. Um, and my elytra, I'm going to need some, some experience. What's my carbon credit, uh, carbon score? 35. Very nice. Um, let's see. Now, here's the question. Where did I put it? I think it's pretty far that way. So, let's see. Uh, it's about two and a half kilometers down that tunnel in the nether. And it's not quite that far um, anymore that I need to go. So... Uh, two and a half. What's two and a half times eight? We're going to do math on stream. Sorry, guys. Let's see, 2.5 times eight. I probably could have done it in my head. That's divided. 2.5 times eight is 20. So 20 kilometers. So yeah, we're at right about there. <laughs> That's where we need to go. Um, let's, let's go through the nether to do this, actually. Um, let's see. I had obsidian. So let's make a let's make a nether portal here, like right here. Let's uh in fact let's go down here. There's no way my elytra is lasting that long, so boop. Just like that. Like this, like that. And I have um, a flint and steel in there, I think. Look at all those trees that I can uh, cut down very soon. I tried to figure out a way to make uh, burning down a forest count for, towards the uh, carbon credit or tar carbon score, but I think it's doable, but it's absolutely absurd <laughs> what, what it takes. Do I really not? I don't, do I? Well, dang it. I don't have anything for lighting that. Okay, so let's go get some flint and some steel. Is there a good stony shore nearby? Somewhere that I can get gravel. Maybe there. And let's go uh, southeast. Maybe there's a uh, blacksmith here. I feel like I'm speedrunning. Is there a blacksmith? I don't know speedrunning, but I, I do know that uh, I hear a lot of speedrunners say it. Okay, yeah, here is... This is not silk touch. Okay, good, because I need flint. There it is. And let's find iron. Any down here? Nope. Cut Testa. Is 
There's some iron. <laughs> I could. I could just kill that guy. Hello, B. Oh, here's a big old cave. Oh, yes. This is a big old cave. I like it. And there's a creeper. Okay. That's actually real good. All right. Let's do it here then. Um, all right. We got our armor stand and we've got the name name tag. Let's see if this works properly right now. Are you guys ready for hopefully a laser show? <laughs> all right. Real quick and name it. Ah, oh, I didn't see the laser, but it zapped it. <laughs> oh, it zapped that guy. All right. Let's, um, for demonstrational purposes. Saw, I saw a particle there just now. Let's see. Creeper right in front of me. Four blocks. There. <laughs> yeah, now I'm hacking Lapis Pig. There we go. All right. Um, let's do it. Twelve blocks ahead of me. There's the laser beam. There we go. Yeah. Uh, I think the shader did something weird when it went through the uh, the ground. <laughs> but here we are. <laughs> A data pack that uh, you can make a protective armor stand, and you can dress it up however you want. That some that uh, protects you from creepers by shooting them with a laser beam. And that is mostly there, well, partly there because I just hate the way that creepers grief your builds, and also because being a family server, there are a lot of kids on here, and they, they I don't want their stuff breaking. <laughs> just because they didn't properly light it up. That's uh, the kind of uh, kiddos crying that uh, I'm not not really wanting. Oh yeah, and we were here for iron. So, but there you have it. One of my favorite uh, homemade data packs. Creeper guard. There's a creeper for real. Hudson says, sure, Dan is a nice person. Let's not forget the time you made kids cry. That's right. This makes up for the data pack that I made that very much made a child cry. <laughs> There's some iron. Back around for it. <laughs> yes, thank you, Sudson, for not letting me forget that. Definitely happened. All right. Not bad, not bad. I got 11. And need to go this way. <laughs> You're so fired. What a mod is for? What's a mod for if not to remember the worst times? <laughs> Very rude. All right, let's uh, pop the iron in here. And we just need one to light the portal. And night is coming, so this is actually really good timing. I think I have flint and steel in the nether. That doesn't help me get to the nether. <laughs> I think every time I light a portal, I have to make a new flint and steel. Because that's, that's me. All right, let's uh, head down in there. We got plenty of... I wish these kept their names when you broke them, but no, you have to rename it every time. I don't know, maybe I can edit the loot table for that. That seems like something that the game should already be keeping track of. All right, cool, we're down here. Our old portal is up there. That makes sense. Um, but we need to go back up there so that we can go into the tunnel. So, let's see, positive x, we need to go to uh, 130, negative 290, I believe. It's about right here. 
Yeah, 130, negative 290. It's to the northeast. Let's go. Wildy Coyote, welcome. Hello to you too. Oh, yep, this is... This is much older than the stuff in the overworld because this is uh, left over from... Uh, although I think they made a new one because their portal has moved. Yeah, no, uh, they've been busy and I have not. <laughs> Good to see you here, Wildy Coyote. There's a portal. And let's see, I went a little bit too far east. Yeah, not far enough north. Uh, here's here's where we hold up for the apocalypse. You can see some of the damage there. <laughs> Meteor coming through the uh, the portal. After I told uh, my niece that the nether is safe, you don't have to worry. Of course, it was very much not safe. <laughs> and she started crying. <laughs> Thanks for the reminder, Setson. Alright, of course it's guarded, but it should be right around here, I believe. Got some cool nether music playing. Love the new nether music so much. Alright. Because of the Crimson Forest, you can't really see it uh, in the map or from above. In fact, we might be too high. This is not safe at all. Okay, let's... You know what? This is a very suspiciously 3x3 three three hole. I think we dug this like a year or two ago. Thanks. Thanks, Hoglin. That was very nice of you. Yeah, okay. Oh, there it is. Okay, this is the old portal. So this is... This is the one we came through at the beginning of the stream. So now what I need to do is go through the uh, hole that um, I TNT blasted with my stepdaughter and we have never made safe. <laughs> uh, hello, piglin. Hello, another piglin. Trying to shoot me. I'll kill ya. I'll kill ya. And you. Oh, let's not stop to eat. He's gonna get me if I do. There we go. Yeah, die. <laughs> Should hold my to my totem. I am not used to using totems on this server. Most of the totems I've used have been on uh, first craft. All right, so okay, yep. Here's all the stuff, and just to see, I know I've got a flint and steel in here. I guarantee it. It's in here somewhere. Tons of stuff. Tons of stuff. And yeah, there's more uh, more money. <laughs> uh, more stuff? Nope, nothing useful right at this moment. Alright, so let's take a trip down my three kilometer long nether tunnel. <laughs> I tried to throw that out at the beginning of the stream and it didn't apparently make it into the lava. That did though, I can hear it. There we go. All right, here we go. And I might have already gone through the portal at some point. I don't remember. No, I don't think so, because I would have a spot on the map if I had. <laughs> Setson says, Dan is pro for totems. <laughs> That's right. I like this new feature in the uh, complementary shaders too, with the uh, the heat haze distorting the view. But yeah, this is a uh, so far three ways to travel uh, Nether Tunnel. We've got the lava canal for uh, going down in a strider. Definitely the slowest option, but it is the most fun. Uh, we have this here that has two lanes, one for soul speed and one for not. Although since making this, I learned that um, soul soil works with soul speed but doesn't slow you down so I'll probably just replace the whole thing with soul soil underneath these slabs that was a lot of S's <laughs> and of course you can fly that's the quickest way to go and uh, I do plan also to put in um, a, uh, a rail line and also spawn proof it future plans always in the future you see now why we're going through the nether and not the overworld 
my elytra will be would be done by the time we went this far. Ow. Smack. That hard turn. Yep, here are some of our striders. <laughs> okay. And I think... Well, that's interesting and different. Don't remember blasting that out. Um, yeah. Let's, uh, let's go on up. Smack our face again. And let's take the stairs. <laughs> After all that, let's just take the stairs. Okay, yep, this is a big old stinking portal. I made even a cool uh, transition for this part of the YouTube video and everything. <laughs> Sets and says, Sounds seen super sus, saying solo S swords. <laughs> Setson, you are fired. Alright, and of course we are in a cave. I was afraid of that. Just above deep slate level. But let's take a look how far we've gone. Yep, that's about what I expected. Actually, not as far as I expected. So her island is going to be, I think, right here. Although it might be right here. So we're going to do a little bit of exploration. First, we got to get out of this stinky cave. Boop, boop, digging out. And hopefully we've got some sky access up here. This is looking pretty promising. Uh, Y49, that's not bad at all. I could not think uh, another word that for words that starts with S. I see. So that wasn't even a typo. That was wordplay. That's good. <laughs> That's really good. And it goes back down. Dang it. All right, but we're not in a mountain, so that's a oop, that's a good. Uh, that's promising. Y94 though. Okay, but it is a really steep. It's one of those canyons. We go east. Potentially come out in that uh that ravine. It was really deep though. Here we go, into the deep slate. And it's relatively bright for the sake of streaming for you guys. Um, I set the uh, the minimum ambient brightness uh, fairly high because of uh, stream compression. It feels a little bit cheaty though. <laughs> I like the uh, I like the moody darkness. Sets in smart. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> chomp chomp. chomp. This is promising, though. Okay, we're at Y45, surrounded by mobs. Um, I mean, on the one hand, it is a little bit cheaty feeling, but on the other hand, it feels like mobs shouldn't be spawning, so they take me off guard. Because <laughs> it feels brighter than it actually is. That's dead darkness. We need to go east or up. I'd like to do it without digging if possible, but it might not be a reasonable thing to expect. Is that a... Uh, nope, it's a zombie. I thought I saw a witch. Yeah, this is why I want uh, flight duration 1 rockets. That spider died. Oh my gosh, this is getting real bad. Really bad. I think I have my totem. But I think we're going to have to start digging. Let's hide. <laughs> hide from these stinky mobs. Ew. Alright, uh, east. We want to go east. Setson, so if you're so smart, why did you let me do this? This is dumb.
There we go. Alright, and directly east from here, let's just dig. <laughs> and let's get out. Sensen, if you're so smart, why am I so thirsty right now? Dumb or derp. Well, I mean, I don't feel like I derped. But, uh, you know, that's that's fully up to my mods. Who am I to argue with a moderator, right? Would never do that. Never. Alright, how are we doing? We're getting there. <laughs> I have a ton of coal blocks too because uh, those are definitely worth saving now. Now that you can't get coal where you're getting diamonds. Hydrate. Thank you, Setson. I'm going to have some of my lemonade. I would have died. I would have completely forgotten. There we go. Mod is greater than streamer. <laughs> Only you, Setson. Don't tell any of my other mods I said that. Don't know if they're listening. <laughs> they might be. But yeah, since it's uh, hard to get coal where you're getting diamonds, since it doesn't exist down there, uh, it is now very worth keeping every piece of coal I find, because uh, coal blocks are fantastic for building. And I think we might be there. Let's get the sword out. Yeah, look at this. Oh, this is so cool. Let's get out of here before they explode it. <laughs> Shipwreck, did you hear that? <laughs> Sudson, are you ratting me out? How rude. And what is this? This is wild. <laughs> Just a floating slab of savanna. Sudson 1, ship 0. <laughs> That's the official score and nobody can argue with it. All right, let's uh, let's explore to the east. Um, and Elytra's holding up okay. We may need to go hunting to uh, repair it. Uh, we got jungle down there. Very cool. Ooh, I wonder if there's a uh, jungle temple. Although if there is, I should leave it because uh, I'm not going to live out here. Not as my main base. <laughs> I offered to uh, share the island with her. She's like, no, my island. <laughs> Look at this coastal village. That is so cool. <gasps> this is my favorite village now. This is not the island, by the way. <laughs> but it's in the general vicinity of it. So, uh, yeah, we're just we're exploring, filling in the world map. See if we can find it without me having to uh, look it up on a cheat sheet, <laughs> which I should probably do anyway. Uh, my island, yep. That was exactly what she said, too. I was like, oh, okay, all right. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, we got a ocean monument down there. Very cool. Little Savannah Island. Noise. Or maybe it's bigger than I thought. Yeah, that was just the, the tip of it. The tip of the Iceland. Is this one of those uh, desert wells? Those are cool. Yeah, even if I looked on uh, Chunk Base for this... It wouldn't be here because this island came from 300 kilometers to the south. I, it's got a bite out of it. Probably end up actually looking at the cheat sheet. We'll see. <laughs> but we have time. We're only halfway through the stream. And exploring is fun. Although now we've just got, you know, 
warm ocean. I like to fly low over the warm ocean. There we go. Woo, just dip my toes. Dip my toes. <laughs> There's a shipwreck down there. All right, let's check. I think it's to the south, but I can't be 100% sure. So we're going to explore uh, south first. Okay, yeah, this is promising. I'm pretty sure there was a small Mushroom Island very nearby. Well, the bigger one. <laughs> but a Mushroom Island nearby. So I think we are on the right track. Like a Mushroom Island with a giant aquifer in the middle. That's wild. Yeah, I put it here, and I'm having to look for it. This is it. Okay. Yeah. I'm 98% sure that we have just found it. That is not 100%, you'll note. I'm leaving room for some doubt. There's a particular feature where we will know if we see it. And this might actually not be it. It might be too big. Fire sets and says, uh, shipwreck. Fire says. Let's see, is this a donut shape? This is it. Okay. Yep, this is Donut Mountain. <laughs> here is her island right here. Yep, and, uh, this, this particular village right here was one of the, uh, selling points for the whole thing. <laughs> Love this village. Alright, so let's do a flyover. She specifically wanted um, at least one village, and uh, she did not want snowy biomes. Uh, she wanted somewhere where she could build a uh, mountain or a, a mansion that overlooks her peasant subjects, and uh, plenty of fields as well. And so she's got that, some cool cliffs. That one's awesome. Um, I think there might be a lush cave under here. And uh, we got these stony shores up here, which are very cool. Uh, birch forest, and we got this tiny, tiny, tiny little dark oak forest. <laughs> That's the whole thing right there. You just saw it. The whole dark oak forest. Amazing. And there it is. And yeah, if you go into map view, you can see where it got pasted in. Um, and then the biome blending, though, um, using a MCA selector and uh, the vanilla biome blending and uh, terrain blending, it works fantastically well. I say as I find this. <laughs> it works well if you use it right. Like over here, I used it right. All right, let's uh, hop out, and we want to make a, uh, or at least find a location for a portal. I don't know exactly where she wants her portal, but I'm going to assume right here is a good spot, and we can adjust later, but definitely want to make a, uh, find a place to make the tunnel branch off. And really, I don't even need to make the uh, the portal up here. I just need to get the coordinates and do more math on stream. We're going to aim for this spot right here. All right, so we've got uh, negative 15, 4, 11. So let me pull up my trusty calculator again. Let's see, 15, uh, 400. I'm going to round down, divided by 8 is 1925. And uh, 2740, let's say, 2740 divided by 8 is 342 and a half. All right, let's go back to where we first arrived, up here. So uh, west, northwest.
<laughs> it looks like Arya is my totem. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> my cat totem. These seaside cliffs are always amazing to me. Ten years playing Minecraft and I've wanted terrain like this. And now it's here. Ooh, what's this? We've got a little bit of a mesa. Like a little micro mesa. <laughs> yeah, that's the whole mesa. <laughs> that's amazing. Oh, Spiadier. I don't have my, um, I don't have my crossbow, my trusty crossbow. Uh, Elytra's getting pretty weak. Maybe I can go down into this ocean and, uh, kill some, uh, Oh, we got a, uh, kill some guardians, but that seems like maybe a, a bad plan. Murder some tropical fish. They're unique. There'll be another, never be another one like it. <laughs> uh, these ones are pretty. Let's kill them. And what are we at? Uh, 77, 76. Yeah, I'm still in fly mode, so it's actually using durability on my elytra. Dang it. 85. Kill these, these stinky squid, too. Die for my Elytra. 85. Okay, fine. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's just keep going. We'll probably have better luck in the nether repairing the Elytra. So, um, I need an Enderman farm. I have never built one. The only one I've ever actually directly worked on is the one on uh, First Craft, which Bowser built. And then I built the shell around it. Um, and she helped with that as well, so even on that, she's done way more than I have on it. All I do is take the credit. Alright, we got jungle here, and I believe it was right here. Where we popped up on the surface, so that should take me back down to that big portal. Yeah, look at this. this is so cool. Every time I see one of these, I get distracted by it. All right, let's uh, sit down on a tree and look at the map, see if we can spot the portal. But I think it was there's a jungle temple right there. Um, I think it was under tree so I don't know spot it here I can hear a zombie <laughs> spot it on the map maybe no should have taken down the coordinates when I came up to the surface but let's go north a little bit west. I don't think we were in the jungle, so uh, I think I remember birch trees. And hey, I think I might have some food. Indeed, I have tortellini. Which <laughs> will wait for a bit. Thank you. I just showed off your island. Wait. <laughs> Gonna look for the place to build the uh, branch on the tunnel. Thank you. Let's see. Yeah, that's my wife bringing me food. Because I'm so great. 
right, I think in here is about right for where that portal was. But I don't remember seeing these right here, so maybe not. <laughs> yeah, I really should have taken a uh, taken a screenshot with coordinates. Derp. You didn't hear that, Setson. You didn't hear me say derp. That's false news. That's fake news. I don't have a bed out here either. Oh man, this tortellini smells really good. <laughs> it's here to taunt me. <laughs> she is great, but you must be pretty okay, I guess. That's correct. <laughs> you didn't hear that. You didn't hear that, Setson. Watch as I kill that child. That child zombie. Ah, dang it. 50. And <laughs> Setson got it. GG. Yes, I, I derped by not grabbing my coordinates when I came up to the overworld here. I was thinking ahead of uh, moving the thing, so I... Uh, nyeh, nyeh. <laughs> Setson celebrating. Oh, why are you so mean to me, Setson? I thought I saw purple, but no, it's just this guy's pants. You're not a portal. Get out of here. You're a zombie. Zombies aren't portals. More celebrating. Wow, Setson. Wow. The nerve. Why do I put up with this treatment? All right. <laughs> The, did I fly up and around there? I think I immediately kind of went celebration tonight. <laughs> Concerned about creepers, though. So let's see. Geez, I love night with this. Woo! <laughs> and the music. Oh my gosh. Oh, milking this for all it's worth, aren't you, Setson? You would. I think it would be, like, head center to here, wouldn't it? Because that's where the map loaded. And I'm not spotting any uh, obsidian. It did, it did take us up to the surface. So there is that. I'm not spotting any obsidian, though. Who remembers? Who can help me and my... Failing, aging memory. <laughs> Next 100. Come on, Dan. You wish. I never derp. I'm not one to derp. Derp more to me. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this, though. The sun rises on the savannah. Lions are nowhere to be seen. For in Minecraft, there are no lions. <laughs> uh, prettiest part of the day right here. Okay. Kit, welcome. Um, we're trying to find where I put my portal. <laughs> First, but not really. Woo! <laughs> hey, Kit, do you see this amazing artwork in the corner? It is. And resub hype. Thank you, Kit. Very appreciated. <laughs> Ah, there's the goat. <laughs> Amazing. But yeah, check this out. This is artwork by my friend uh, Kaylee Obsidia. She did on her stream today of one of my cats. In fact, let's put her, her links here again. Although uh, on mobile, I don't think that's uh, working as a link because uh, the... Uh, the space that I put there, stream elements, is not honoring. Hey, Satan, welcome. Yeah, you see jungle. Uh, jungle is, I think, not where I came up. Uh, so jungle is not what I'm looking for. I can't remember if it was Savannah or if we were in the uh, the regular forest with the birch trees. <laughs> welcome, Setson. Glad to see you here. Looking for my portal, and I I don't know where I put it. I'm I'm very sad now that I that I derped. Is that a calcite vein? That is cool. 
tiny little calcite van on a tiny little stony peak peak pick stony pick all right let's let's go to these two uh stands of trees again to the north so i really feel like those are the places that it was one of these i'm pretty sure i came out and there were birch trees said hello Setson was that another derp I thought I said hello Satan did I not say hello Satan did I say hello Setson has Setson addled my brain this far that he wants derps <laughs> Satan says I'm eating a burrito and gonna hop on skyblock enjoy your skyblock skyblock and your burrito because those both sound like really great things all right all right got this stand of trees up here let's Check it out, and if it's not that, then we're going to have to look at a cheat sheet, I guess. Maybe use a replay mod. <laughs> Sparse jungle. Is that what it said in the, um, uh, in the, uh, the HUD? In mini HUD? I think there is sparse jungle here before actual jungle. Or did it just look sparse to you? Yeah, this looks like sparse jungle. I think you're right. Let's check. Yep, sparse jungle. Very cool biome. I'm glad they kept it and repurposed it the way they did. Because they no longer need those edge biomes. <laughs> Alright. Let's, uh... Let's see how close I got to this thing, because I feel like I've maybe walked past it like 30 times, so you guys are like, oh, geez, Dan, is this what the stream is now? Didn't they expand its generation? Yeah, it's, uh, instead, it's, uh, it's on their humidity map, so they've got a, a heat map and a humidity map, um, that determine where biomes are, and that's why usually you don't see a cold and a hot biome right next to each other. You still do, but sometimes, or a lot more rarely than you used to, but... So uh, in the humidity map, it's uh, slightly less so than the actual jungle. So it, it still works as an edge jungle, but it is no longer just edge. So yeah, they've expanded it. All right, let's uh, hop off for a minute. And let's uh, check the evidence of the replay mod. Well, I take a bite of my tortellini for just a moment while it saves that replay file. Give me just a sec. Mm -hmm. Yes, I am a hungry Dan, and there's the hydrate. We're not doing drink cam drink cam today. Thank you, Kit. <laughs> um, yeah, being on my family server, we're, we're going uh, pure family friendly today. There we go. Lemonade to wash it down. All right. We've loaded a lot of chunks, so there is a lot for this replay. <laughs> A lot for this replay to do. But yeah. Clear night. Is anyone on? Nope, nobody's on. Alright, let's take a look at uh let's take a look at that cat again while we wait for the replay file to save. Look at that cat. Look at me distracting the audience with the cat. It's a pretty cool cat. That's a little small to see, but you can see her uh, signature down there. <laughs> But yeah, that was a channel point redeem on uh, on her channel. So uh, watched her uh, for four hours uh, painting my cat today. <laughs> yep, this is the consequence of uh, needing the replay file after there it is after uh, loading so many chunks. So let's just hit done. I'll rename it later. I know it's bad uh, practice. And let's let's open this up and let's take a look see where we went oh <laughs> that's where i was right before the stream <laughs> all right let's hop into my head here it's a scary place i know um and an event marker oh that's where we were going to take a screenshot for a uh, lapis pig let's do that on our way here because that is something we definitely want to do 
All right, let's uh, let the particles die down. There we go. And yeah, so Lapis Pig wanted a screenshot of this. Let's get right here. And let's change the field of view. And let's get a screenshot and I will post this on the Twitter and in uh, the uh, the first craft discord. It's not first craft, but still. All right, now we've got a screenshot. <laughs> um, and then let's put the field of view back to normal. And let's go. Let's go to right about here. So the last 20 minutes or so that we were uh, looking around. Let's see. <laughs> Did we get... We probably went really, really, really close. <laughs> All right, and we got rendering issues, so we'll uh, reload. Whoops, nope. Reload the chunks. That usually takes care of that. Very good. Oh, yeah, this is when I was uh, repairing the uh, elytra a bit. Let's... Uh, Fast forward. Talking fast is exhausting. <laughs> they said I didn't talk backwards. So accurate. <laughs> Okay, and we're in the area now. I can't look at the, the map in this view, but maybe from down here we can spot it. And I also might be in entirely the wrong area. So the next thing that we'll do is uh, rewind to the beginning. <laughs> I don't even mind seeing stuff down here. I, I'm not going to do this at the spawn island because I want to be... Uh, Surprised, but I'm not going to build out here, so <laughs> there are no, and I'm not even going to remember anything I see, so there's no spoilers here at all. There, oh, that's right, because we had to, uh, we had to tunnel. Okay, yeah, and we tunneled to here. Okay, we did come out underground. It was the first one where I came out on the surface. Okay, no wonder I'm so confused. All right, there it is. I was never going to find that. <laughs> no, I was never ever going to find it. Do I have obsidian on me? Okay, yep. Yeah, so we're gonna make we're gonna make a new one. Forget that. Let's get the uh, the X and Y of this. <laughs> Okay, uh, 19040. I'm going to write this down real quick. 19040, And let me make sure that that is negative 19. All right, yeah, I was never, I was never going to find that. <laughs> dinner time says, Kit, I'll catch you after perhaps. Yeah, I'll be going for about another hour, Kit. Enjoy your dinner. Uh, what are you, uh, what are you having for dinner, if you don't mind me asking? Let's hop back on to New Gondwana Land. And let's see. Okay, so. <laughs> Smashed burgers. Nice. <laughs> enjoy those and yeah if you're uh if you're still up in an hour i'll still be i should still be streaming so all right negative 19040 uh 23 and 934 so i need to go a little bit a uh, positive z which is south and a little bit west okay let's just walk and let's dig straight down to that portal <laughs> i think we can do that um, and yet yeah, 9.34. So like right around here. And that way. Um, yeah. So I could find my tunnel right there. <laughs> 
but I don't know if I'll find the exact path that we took. So, um, negative Z. I know it's night now. It's right below me here, so let's carefully spiral down. Nine thirty four. Nineteen. Oh, it'll be really convenient if it's uh, in the uh, the river. Oh, that's the wrong way, actually. Right here. Hello, friends. Not friends. You guys aren't my friends. I lied. <laughs> I said you were my friends, and you are definitely not that. And I'm gonna struggle here. Come on. Got my totem, so... All right, 19.040 and 9.34. This way. And there's that butt. All right, let's uh, dig straight down right here. <laughs> nice. All right, and I've got... I've got my totem, so if this goes poorly, I'll be okay. <laughs> Famous last words. Alright, let's eat. And I can minimize this so that I can see better over here. Alright. <laughs> down, down, down we go. No wonder I was confused. I was mixing up the two portals. That's not a derp. Hello! Hello, portal! Ah, yeah, get me out of here. <laughs> there we go. Familiar, safe nether. <laughs> Alright, now I gotta pull up my uh, calculator again. It's got the values. All right, so yeah, we've got an X of 1925, negative 1925, and a Z of 342 is what we're looking for. So let's fly again. That actually helped my elytra a little bit. Ah, oh, Setson. Do I need to fire you again? And we're looking for negative 1925. 51 times. I'll believe it when I see it. And that is it right here. I hear a gehast. Alright. We have 1925, and then we need to go to. 342.5. I think that's negative as well because it's to the south. Yep. Alright, so right here in this wall is where we need to dig. And let's go up a little bit. Um, we want to be yeah, just a little bit higher because we're going to blast this out. This is positive Z. Really? Huh. Are we sure about this? The 2470 divided by 8 was what it was. And that was to the south, right? I think it was, yeah. Oh, we do need to go to positive, don't we? Okay, yep. Because uh, where we are, negative 212 times 8, that's, uh, yeah, 1600 north of it. Okay, yep. All right, that does make sense to me. All right. Math on stream, always a, always a bad decision. Why do you let me make bad decision sets? And this is your derp. Hey. Profit. That's all, though. Okay. Uh, don't want that. There we go. <laughs> and 
and we're gonna run into this, aren't we? Dang it, okay. I don't have an ender chest on me. Yeah, we got lots of lava here. Get rid of some stuff I don't want. Don't need any of oh, that, okay. Granite's ugly, gross, go away. Got plenty of ink sacks. Lots of gravel. Lots of cobblestone. Okay. <laughs> you would never derp. Except all the times you derp. You derp. Let's see. This is going to be a really deep one, isn't it? And I'm going to want fire resistance potions. Uh, let's see if there is a um, an ender chest over there. Otherwise, we're going to have to go all the way that way. I'd rather not. Let's uh, let's put a marker. Easy to identify. There we go. And yeah, let's get fire resistance potions and see also if we've got our um, our TNT. So it's worth a trip for both of those things. This entire place was blasted out, <laughs> all at once. I had to reignite it a few times, of course, but it was all one big blast project. And having that heat haze makes this feel hotter. That's an effective uh, effect. <laughs> Whoops. That was not eloquent. Oh, that was one of our markers for uh, a bastion. That ill-fated uh, series of streams where I was bastion hunting with uh, my stepdaughter for pick step. Good times. And there might be uh, fire resistance pushes there. Of course, there's a whole ton of you guys. That one's a child. That one's a child. These ones are dangerous. These ones mean business. Let's eat. Retreat and eat. That tunnel's not supreme proof. No. No, it is not. Nor would it be scar proof, which is basically the same thing, right? <laughs> no, this is definitely not a safe tunnel. Not yet. Okay, so... Do we have... Yeah, we've got the boom box, and that's got a flint and steel in it. Of course it does. Um, and I think one of these has... Beverages. Yep. Potion of fire resistance. Okay, let's take that as well. In fact, let's place it now and let's grab like four of them. There we go. While we're here, I might as well grab some more food as well. And I know that I have pork chops right here. Those will do. All right, back down the tunnel. <laughs> I could take a strider, but we would be here for the rest of the stream if I did that. Not really. It would take about 10 minutes, I think, <laughs> to get all the way down here with a strider. It's uh, pretty hilarious. But yeah, uh, the first time we all used this together, I insisted that everyone ride a strider, which is extra funny because my wife hates them. <laughs> All right, we're looking for a negative 1925. Sin says, okay, it's super late. Ah, Setson, you've got another few hours in you. I know you. <laughs> you got to go. Thanks for being here, Setson. Um, congratulations on being the one to catch me out on my 50th derp, which is impossible because I never derp. <laughs> yeah, yeah, get some sleep, Setson, and I'll see you later. No excuses, you're on duty. That's right, Setson. I'll have you fired for dereliction of duty. 
Alright, there's the marker right there. Look at that landing. Alright, let's go up here and uh, drink the potion. This is eight minutes, right? Yeah, good, good, good. Let me ban him, Dan. I mean, I'm not going to argue with any of my mods. I would never do that. Okay, yeah, this is super gross. Let's uh, go ahead and uh, start with this. Yep, and that's going to make it flow out. This is the floor level that I'm going for. <laughs> Bye, so that's in, yeah, later, Setson. Thanks for dropping by. Okay, that is that. To here, we want this. Of course, this is going to be a problem again when we blast, but that's okay. Dealing with these without the fire resistance is truly a miserable experience. But with the fire resistance, super easy, barely an inconvenience. And now I'm on fire. <laughs> Did I take a screenshot? Must have accidentally hit. Oh, I hit F2 instead of 2. There we go. I swear that's half of my screenshots. <laughs> and here we go. Let's see who's a better mole. Is it me or shipwreck? I guess it depends on how you define it. Better at being a mole, or better person who is a mole? It's a very interesting philosophical question. It's listening to the soothing sound of breaking basalt. <laughs> and of course... Of course, it's Basalt Delta. I love the Basalt Delta, but it does make the mining slow. Objectively, though, it's the nicest biome in the Nether now. It's the most interesting one. It's my favorite one to look at anyway. Uh, here we go. It's not my favorite one to tunnel through, though. Oh, yeah, that was that was short-lived. <laughs> that wasn't a different biome. That was just a little pocket of netherrack. Dang it! Oh man, all my basalt cliffs are gone. I spent a lot of time terraforming in that old world, and um, the meteors came crashing down on it. All right, let's check on this. Okay, still have fire resistance. How bad is this? It's pretty bad. Okay. So let's go here and make sure that we are level with that. That is where we want our walkway. Heard a bunch of blocks burning. <laughs> I should probably check and have more fire resistance on my hotbar as well. Uh, four minutes. We have half of it left, but let's put that on the hotbar so that we are ready. Uh, BR. Let's go back, making our ceiling. Alright, now we need our walls. There's one. Let's do this at the same time. Save a trip through sticky lava. Okay. 
And there we go. And on fire again, of course. <laughs> uh, three minutes left on it, though. We're doing well. That's not so bad. There we go. And we're almost out of the Basalt Delta. The Basalt Delta. It's teasing me with this Netherrack. Payoff is going to be that uh, at the end we get to uh, blow it all up. <laughs> There's... Nice. So she set that up for uh, for her streams then, and you're a subscriber, so you got it. Very cool with the lane of totem. I want everyone to have those on their streams so that I can use them all. Dang it. Oh. <laughs> wow, wow. And we got a butt. So that's like a whole person right there. A little tiny head and a big old butt. And the purple hair really clashes with the orange butt. Gotta say. Alright, good, that's not a lake. And we're looking for uh, 342. We're going to right there. And that's going to be pretty quick now. We have a minute and a half left on fire resistance, so we can afford to sprint. And then hit lava, er, not lava, gravel. This is so satisfying. I love this. <laughs> I know I'm safe with the fire resistance, but uh, they're good uh, reflexes to have. And this is going to be... It's going to be rough, isn't it? Yeah, dang it. Dang it, dang it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Of course, and how far do we have left? Not too bad. I think if we don't reset, we'll end up with chunk borders. I don't think so. I think um, I think all they're doing they're they're making sure to have uh, a good transition. So I mean, even with the uh, one seventeen to one eighteen, they had come up with the uh, that idea for the uh, the world blending, which works very well. Um, so even though that would be kind of awkward, it would at least be smooth and not just stupid. So, uh, no, I don't think we're going to end up with chunk borders uh, doing that. Um, and the only things that they have changed are the uh, swamps and the, uh, the deep dark. So uh, basically, um, where a swamp can generate now, it'll have a chance to be a mangrove swamp. I think that's all that uh, is changing there. And so far, this is not nearly as bad as I expected. But I don't want to say that too loud or the game will hear me. There we go. I was expecting to have to do that for a long way. I miss my redeem. I know, I miss it too. I'm definitely going to take care of it myself afterwards. <laughs> Gonna relax. Have a nice something to drink. Especially if, uh, like, my uh, my niece and nephew are on and I'm streaming from this server. I feel like, yeah, maybe not from here. <laughs> it's why I uh, went ahead and dropped the family-friendly tag when I'm uh, using that redeem. So I feel like uh, uh, light, responsible drinking is not a problem for family-friendliness, but um, I don't want to ruffle any feathers of people that do. Alright, 342, we're just about there. 
Erases butt emote. No, I can't. I can't account for what my uh, my viewers do or my moderators. <laughs> All right, here it is, right here. This is great. And now we're gonna end up with more lava, but that is fine. We just wanted to get here for now. So let's uh, pick up some uh, TNT. What do I want to throw out? Arrows. I don't even have a bow right now, so we're we're good on that. I want to pick that up. I have dropped this before, and I used replay mod to find it. <laughs> and find out that I had completely blown it up. I don't feel like counting this precisely, so I'm just going to eyeball it. So this is definitely more than I need. Which actually might be a problem, because too close together is, is as bad as too far apart. They can uh, explode and... Uh, move the uh, the lit TNT and uh, mess up the spacing that way. I've had that happen. But the worst that can happen is that we have to light another TNT. It's fine. And we've got the fire resistance, so if we have to uh, swim through lava to get there, we can do it. More stacks. Can I drop anything? Uh, only three, only four smooth stone. Let's drop the smooth stone. Don't need that. Um, and this. There we go. Besides, kids think butts are funny, so that's family friendly. <laughs> I call my kids butts all the time. I figure it's a lot better than any alternative words. I'm trying to, uh, in my normal habits, uh, replace a lot of the uh, not so family friendly words I use in everyday uh, language with uh, the word stinky. That's why I say uh, stinky so much. I think fire tick is off, so uh, the lava is not going to ignite any of this. I love that the sound of this is the same as like hay blocks and such. <laughs> Such an uh, innocuous sound for such a dangerous block. Yeah, when I was doing this on uh, the first SMP, on First Craft, there we go. Um, I, I definitely uh, had some uh, unintended ignitions of TNT from lava. All right, let's uh, pull this back up, uh, get rockets just in case, and fire in the hole! Let's chase it. Ow. Yep, there's that lava. And we got two minutes left on fire resistance, so we're good. Uh, swim. Swim through it, Dan. It's getting away from you. Swim. Swim. It stopped. Or it just got too far away, but I think it stopped. It's so sticky. So hot and sticky. Alright, I think it stopped on the other side of that lava. We didn't get to watch some of it because of the stinky lava. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, okay, so we're at uh, Y10. 
There we go. That's where I need to go. And I think I'm going to want to put another uh, fire resistance potion on my hot bar. There we go. Because, yep, we got 48 seconds left. Alright, I think it actually was uh, self-sustaining until it got out of loaded chunks. That's a... Yeah, something happened here where they bunched up. Man, I'm loving this faucet bot. <laughs> are you setting yours up? Or are you, are you being sarcastic about mine not being set up? Because I have some ideas, I just haven't implemented them yet. Alright, fire resistance... Just in case. Of course, that one stopped. Dang it. And let's... There we go. Otherwise, it'll fall right down. Ah, oh, you're working on yours. Very cool. Yeah, I like the stuff that Supreme Doom has done with it. And uh, she convinced me. She convinced me I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use it. Sure yours will be set up soon, just like the command list. I mean, I am closer to that. I have one that is not for the mod commands. You're welcome. There's some ancient debris. Yeah, okay, I'll need to come in and uh, plug up the lava holes in the ceiling the walls, like that. And uh, then uh, I'll wait until she's decided where she wants to put her portal, and then we'll make one down here to match it up. Yes, it will be done soon, trademark. Remember how you were saying that the courthouse would never be built on, uh, on First Craft, but uh, it's being built right now. Can't reach that one. There we go. So yeah, I get to stuff. That was so cool. All the gravel exploding into my face. <laughs> I mean, it was unpleasant on my face, but it was cool to watch. Alright, we are almost there. Fire in the hole. More Cinnabons. I love that that caught on after Cub Fan started calling them that. Because it's so true. <laughs> it's such a cool effect. All the, the falling uh, block entities. And here we are. Okay, that is this tunnel blasted away. So uh, next will come decoration. And making it safe because it is, for multiple reasons, not safe. Alright, five minutes left on the fire resistance. But fire resistance doesn't help me from these guys. There we go. <laughs> All right, let's, uh... Hi, I see you there. Let's let the hearts refill. And this guy, this guy has to die, apparently. He has a death wish. I would have left you alone. I would have left you alone. And we gotta go through this curtain of lava. Or this one we can go around, okay. Yeah, this is just some point sources right up there. Not a true curtain of lava. It's those deep lava lakes that are really a pain. We need to decorate your uh, your nether tunnel, shipwreck. Oh, that was fun. <laughs> that was a blind leap with a with a totem, but a blind leap for sure. 
And everything worked out. How are we doing? Three and a half minutes. And there's our destination. Oh, good. I was able to fly out. Nice. Okay. And there is our tunnel started. <laughs> And we got to blast it, which was super satisfying. All right, and this is where we will branch off. So, uh, yep. That's a lot of tunnel that goes nowhere now. Oh, well. It is uh, it is what it is. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, let's eat again. Let's go back to our village. Wait, you're uh, fly swimming through lava? Yep, I've got fire resistance on. And I've got a totem in my hand because the big risk there was if I had uh, smashed into a wall, uh, then I would still die despite the fire resistance. So uh, that's what the totem was for. That, and just in case I didn't notice my fire resistance running out, which I have two and a half minutes left on, so we're good. Also, welcome, Pete Venkman. We were noting that your uh, carbon score is uh, completely neutral right now of, uh, of a zero. Mine is now 39. I was uh, two when I started today. <laughs> and that is the last of the rockets that I brought with me. So hopefully I've got some more in my ender chest. I think I do. Thanks, I need to work harder. Yeah, me too. Well, I haven't been on until right now. Yeah, I do. Okay, good. Spare box. <laughs> Shipwreck says, can you try to drown Dan like he did to me? I didn't try to drown you, Shipwreck. Um, that was fully accidental. Uh, you uh, you should know better than to have a single block below you when you're AFKing. That's just not safe. Yeah, I tried to, to drop you into the ground a little bit and surround you in stone, but nope, nope, drowning was beginning to happen. And I'm like, oh, quick, let's go save him. That's how it happened. All right, um... Now we need to go. Back up here. We can go in their portal. That's fine. Or I can just go through my old old portal again. Yeah, let's do that. I've got entirely new navigation to learn. Hi guys. We got new navigation to learn, new landmarks to learn. And I gotta eat while I run away bravely. And uh, new coordinates to write down. Yeah, I just murdered a child right in front of you. Take that. Jeez, these guys. They don't know when to leave me alone. I need to spawn proof this whole thing. <laughs> right, it is not Supreme Doom proof. It's barely Dan proof. And someone just tried to shoot me again. But yeah, at least I know where this portal goes. So, hi. Oh, he went through. <laughs> joke's on you, you're going to become a zombie. And joke's on me, because I'm getting hit. All right, yeah, this is what I remembered. Hey, there's your friend. <laughs> All right, this is what I was remembering before. Okay, and I need to go... Yeah, southwest. Got enough elytra. Good, good. Pete Venkman would never drown me. He wouldn't be able to. I'm too powerful. Oh, look at that peak. Oh, didn't quite land on it. Woo! <laughs> look at me! There we go, that's a good... <laughs> I like that. 
All right, uh, south west, right? Yeah. Squirrel, right? I'm easily distracted. Aw, oh, dang. Oh, going for this. Squirrel! Hold on, this might be a good place for an observatory. I really want to build an observatory in one of these mountains. Yeah, these are max height jagged peaks. That is awesome, okay. I'll be back there for sure. Yeah, I pre-gened a whole lot of this, so uh, performance is pretty good right here. Not having to generate new chunks. Although I don't have the nice 24 chunk render distance that uh, we have on first craft. <laughs> This is not as beefy hardware. I think I might have more RAM and that's about it. Alright, we got some nice oceanside cliffs right here on the north. And there's our village right there. We're pointed almost directly at it. No filled ravine. I love flying through a snowstorm. <laughs> All right, here we have our canyon that we were enthusing over, or I was enthusing over, I guess. You guys were probably like, oh, here he goes again, talking about how great the uh, terrain generation is, like he does every time he sees any terrain at all. Not wrong. Alright, here we are. Back home. Home for now, anyway. Make sure that is our respawn point. Okay, good. It looks like it is. Okay, we've been very productive. And in fact, I'm considering... Alright, they're going to sleep. No, let's, let's not uh, leave early. Let's go ahead and pick up this cartography table that I've left over here. And let's start working on a cartographer villager, because next time I stream from here, I'm going to pick it up. Um, I want to show off another data pack. The uh, Ore Prospector one. Because this one is absolutely ridiculous <laughs> and super fun. And uh, we can make an actual map of ore concentrations by chunk. Alright. And it's not quite time for bed. They're congregating at the bell, but they're not going to bed yet. So we need a cartographer, and we've got plenty of unemployed guys. So here, let's put the cartography table right here. Let's not burn down their house, even though fire tick is off. That's the principle of the matter. I don't think anyone is going to... Mason, very nice. I don't think... Oh, he is. Okay. Hi. All right, so I need paper or I need emeralds. I think I have some emeralds. Yeah, we want him um, leveled up to master wallet. Here we go. Nope, it's not in my wallet. Uh, there's a valuables box. There it is. Okay. Because this isn't currency on the server. <laughs> Um, let's see, do I have... I made another shulker box, right? Yes, and it's out here. So let's drop off some of our junk. Perfect. And now we can sleep. Our cartographer... <laughs> our cartographer wants his bed. What a butt! What an actual butt! All right, I'm going to take a quick drink here. I'm getting uh, rather thirsty. There we go, that's better. All right, uh, now we need 
the emeralds, and we need to trade with this cartographer. Get a stack for now. And where'd you go? Get back here, you. Where did we put it in here? I think this is where we put it. Yep. And he's not here. He's not working. Come on, buddy. I call you buddy, but... You're not my buddy, guy. Where did he go? Where is our stinky cartographer? There he is. Or is that the mason? That might be the mason. That's our mason. We want you later. Right now we want a cartographer, specifically. Where's the guy with the monocle? Come on, man. Maybe I'll pick it up and uh, drop it again, and uh, someone else will take the profession, since this guy is apparently useless. Is that him? Is he going into the trees? This is not where you work. What, are you going to make a map of the trees? Alright, so I can get empty maps. I'm going to want those anyway, so that's excellent. And does that... Nope, that uses up my emeralds. Let's just make them all. There we go. Come on, come back here. I'm not done with you. You're not done. Alright, level up, and let's see what you get. I've never traded with cartographers before, so... Oh, I can give him glass panes, but I would want those. Alright, fine. It's going to lock that out. Compass. Ocean Explorer map, though. Okay, I've never done... I've never done this from a cartographer. Let's, uh, let's make a compass. Let's get an Ocean Explorer map and actually do it. Now you're in here. These guys. Um, let's see. I need iron and redstone, right? I think that's what I need. Uh, iron is going to be an issue. Alright, but redstone. Here's my redstone. Um, I think I, I have enough iron for a compass. So, um, is it... I don't remember. I don't remember the recipe. Let's eat. We do have iron right here. Perfect. And compass. There we go. I can make... Two of them. I'm only going to make one of them. Okay, yeah. Redstone and four iron. That's what it is. I couldn't remember if it was that or uh, iron and four redstone. Let's uh, place this as well. Get it out of the inventory. That's a good place, is any. <laughs> right up there in the ceiling. Uh, our hot beverages. Yeah. Let's uh, not block our other shulker boxes, though. Get rid of that. I don't need it. Okay. And you're the mason. All right. Is he still contemplating nature? Should we tell him that this is not natural? We planted this? Should we tell him? There he is. He's actually working. Wow. Ocean Explorer map. All right. And that's not enough to level him up. Uh, but it did make him happier. Let's get some of these. All right. It's a start, and I do need the maps. Okay, so Ocean Explorer map. And this tells me... Yeah, this just tells me where an ocean monument is. So, uh, south and west. Let's go find this one. <laughs> I've never actually done an Ocean Explorer map. Done, uh... No, I haven't done the, uh... I've done the, the treasure maps from the shipwrecks. That's what I've done. Um, I haven't done the, uh... Woodland Explorer map, or whatever they call it, either. Alright. Nice and close. Oh, that's cool. Look at that, we got a polar bear in front of an arch. That is... worth a screenshot. And I'm gonna drown instead. That's awesome. All right, and right through that arch is our ocean monument under the ice. 
Very cool. Hi. Don't laser me, please. I'm getting out of here. Okay. <laughs> well, that was cool. I still have the iron on me. Yeah, I do. Okay, so maybe I get another one. And I don't need to hold that anymore. It's just in the way. Well, that's nice and scenic, too. There we go. That was a fun adventure. All right. Let's, uh... I don't need that many maps, but let's, uh, I do need to level him up. Let's get another Ocean Explorer map. Um, <laughs> we don't need another Ocean Explorer map. It's not like ocean monuments are rare or anything. I can make another one of these. And this will at least work towards leveling him up. Hello. No, don't go back in. Stay here. Oh, and they're cheaper now, too. They're the same map, too. Herbaccio. Well, ah. Uh, okay, it's worthwhile to get him leveled up to master. I mean, assuming the data pack works, which it should. So, iron. That's the limiting factor here. I don't think I saved any actual iron. I didn't have... Well, actually, I did have a, rather a lot of iron. Uh, but it's in the nether, so... Maybe I can steal some iron. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that. It's just funny to think about. Alright, let's go caving for iron, then. Uh, I need another shulker box or just chests. I'm just going to make chests. The shulker or the chest monster begins. I will make uh, two double chests and just drop our junk in it <laughs> for now. Keep that. And we'll do... Yeah, we'll do Silk Touch. That's fine. Okay, so caving. Uh, we found that there was a big old cave entrance. I don't remember where or if it actually went deep. But it looks like we've got some good candidates over here. So let's go right there to the northwest... Or let's go down here. Yeah, let's go south. Let's grab more rockets before we go. There we go. Yep, and we're headed right here. With no torches or anything. Oh, this is this is very, very bad. Um <laughs> Okay, but uh, that's all right. Um, let's actually switch to fortune. Um, let's put that in the offhand so we can repair it a bit. Find a bit of coal. And let's uh, cut down a tree and then we can make some torches. Don't really want to go down there without torches, just in case. Birchwood, sticks, and torches. There we go, that's better. And it's dark until we get in there, and then it's going to... Yep, adjust. Our eyes adjust to the dark. 
<laughs> one of the really cool features of this shader. I definitely turn off emissive ores, though. I feel like emissive ores are incredibly cheaty. Oh, hi, creepers. Oh, I could have let this guy kill him and gotten a music disc. Dang it. My sword has smite. Yeah. Smite five. That's why these guys are going down so fast. And let's, uh, whoop, right down. Oh. Just more sky access. Does this, is this just a big old surface cave? Dang it. Doesn't even go down deep. I want to cave for this iron. What about that? No. Oh, just a derpy arch. Okay. Uh, let's see. Where's the next uh, promising cave? Yeah, let's just fly and find one. Um, southeast. <laughs> saying, so how's your posters coming, Dan? Well, I just uh, traded for a bunch of maps, so that'll help. I don't know whom to trade for glitter, though. Um, are you going to make me posters? Because you said you would. Saw a pillager outpost over there. Searching for Caves of Wonder, says Pete Venkman. Indeed. And horror. <laughs> At least if I one-hit kill them, they can't uh, call for reinforcements, I think. And we got some cool stalactites. We got a spawner. Slide it up real quick. Oh, it's a spider spawner. Okay. Cat? Name tag? I'm going to leave this stuff, I think. Yeah, nothing I particularly want or need except for the music disc. Um, let's make a uh, waypoint. So I have a note for this. Which is what I should have done for that, uh, that, uh, <laughs> that portal. There you go. There's a lot of you guys back here. All right, we're looking for iron. Let's not uh, forget that. Uh, Silk touch, yeah, that's fine. Could go back up there, but I want to go deeper into the crust of the planet, which I presume is Earth if it's got a Gondwana land on it. But who even knows? And that just doesn't go anywhere. I'm being thwarted by the caves. <laughs> Look at the grass back there. That's that's wild. Oh, there's iron. Pick you up. The rest down here appears to be copper. All right, next cave. Little flying out of a cave. All right, yeah, we've just got a few more minutes. We're gonna we're gonna see about one more cave. Uh, before we end, because I think we've done plenty. And at this point, yeah, I'm just, uh, I'm going to start a long search for iron, and so I'm going to, uh, oh, look where we are. Maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll buy some iron. I won't steal it. Um, <laughs> uh, I'll, uh, level up that cartographer to master, so that, uh, next time I stream from here, which will hopefully be soon, I don't have a set date for that. Um, focusing mostly on, uh, first craft currently. Um, but yeah, we will hopefully go on uh, an ore prospecting expedition with my uh, brother, Rabid Targ, and anyone else who wants to uh, come along, and we're going to show off our skills of the geologist.
Here we go. This is what I'm talking about. All right. This is a good place to find for the end. I like this a lot. Got some lapis ore. Some skeleton ore. Iron ore. Yeah, it's weird the things that I'm starting from square one on and the things I'm not. I've never uh, done a reset quite like this one. <laughs> and it was a lot of work, but I'm glad I did because this, is, uh, this has been a lot of fun. So yeah, thanks uh, guys for joining me here. My uh, second stream from uh, this server in 1.18. I think like my fourth no it's more than that because of all the uh the uh misfortune in the uh the bastions that i had with my stepdaughter so yeah i've uh, i've been here a few times just not in 1.18 but this is a pretty good backdrop so let's uh let's pose for the camera hi guys <laughs> yeah this was fun um i'm going to keep working on that village and that cartographer like i said and on, uh, let's see, what is today? Wednesday? Yeah, so on, uh, I think it will be a Saturday that we'll do Saturday in Space. Uh, I don't think we'll have to put this one off till Sunday, but we'll see. Uh, but yeah, we'll do uh, Saturday in Space. And uh, we will be, yeah, thank you, you too, Wildy Coyote. Um, and on Monday, we'll be doing more First Craft. So uh, we should have a completed courthouse by then if I hit my goal. But uh, yeah, I've been working really hard on that. And yeah, let's take one more look at the full picture of Arya. <laughs> Very good work by Kaylee Obsidia. Thank you so much, Kaylee. And let's see if there's anyone I know online to raid. Um, let's see. Let's raid Firepower. I haven't been there um, in a little bit. And uh, Lena says, thanks for the stream, Dan. Thanks for dropping by, Lena. But yeah, I'm going to uh, go ahead and start a raid on Firepower and uh, pull it up on my phone because I'm probably going to have an ad. I don't know if I'm still... Uh, Subscribed him or not. <laughs> so, um, yeah, here we go. Yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!